Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my Calamity Master Mode playthrough. And, oh, hey, you sell Trouble Worms now. Cool. All right, yeah, we're going to buy one of those because it also says material on it. Uh, you can see I've got different NPCs down here now, and my storage system is gone. So I recorded an episode, and it didn't quite turn out. The uh, OBS screwed up the audio on it. But I've got a house over here now. <laughs> So, let me, uh, let's see, let's talk to uh, Jeffrey, I guess, is my current guide. Your material for what? Oh, okay. Truffle worm cage. Okay, cool. I figured that was, you know, something along those lines. Uh, but I've moved over and expanded my magic storage system. I've got... I think three hallowed, which are kind of expensive. Uh, but yeah, three hallowed uh, storage units here. And they require uh, souls from all the bosses, so. Wow. 29 gold, man. It's been a while, hasn't it? All right, Milton. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and sell you that hook, too, instead of trashing it. All right. Um, should probably go ahead and pick up another piggy bank from you. And we're going to leave it there. Quick stack that away. There we go. So, uh, let's see. Cryogen is up next. I'm trying to remember exactly where I was at uh, in the previous episode now. Uh, let's see. We did get a bunch of trophies together. Uh, we're, we're good all the way up into the Wall of Flesh. Uh, now it's Cryogen and Queen Slime is what I need. And I haven't even beaten Cryogen yet. Let's see. There we go. Uh, but I just remembered it. it's it's a shame actually because I was finally able to <laughs> uh, kill a hard mode boss without dying at the same time as the boss whenever I took out the aquatic scourge actually. So. Damn, it did 100 damage to me still with Frost Armor. That is just insane. Uh, but I went ahead and made the uh, the Ponage Hammer, which is always fun. And it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Throws a giant hammer out. A lot of fun. I got the Sea Searing from the Aquatic Scourge, and there's Wyvern flying in the background. And the Sea Searing... Uh, it's, I think, one of the reasons why my audio screwed up on that episode. Because <laughs> I was fighting the Destroyer, and it actually crashed the sound the sound engine for Terraria. Yeah, loads of fun there. Oh. I thought the, uh, the Chippy's Couch gave you a buff. See what we got up here. We got cozy fire, honey for my bee wings, um, banners. Yeah, no, I guess it doesn't. Hmm. Even while sitting in it, it doesn't really do much for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, the sea searing is great. Uh, it's what uh, three shots? Yeah. And. If you actually hit an enemy with it, more shots come from off-screen to hit the same enemy. So, a lot of fun. And then right-click, it fires off a, uh, basically like a, a Duke Fishron little whirlpool thing. Uh, let's see. Crack this open. Okay, how about you? Robot costume. Okay, I've got that already. Okay. 
10 out of tier 3 of the bag already. Okay, cool. And a magic quiver. Okay, yeah. Don't really care. I did go ahead and farm up the wall of flesh a couple of times to get the trophy, and we got the ranger emblem, which is nice. And I got a couple of breaker blades, which is not so great. Alright, um... Let me go ahead and drop this banner off here. And let's see. You go there. And we do this. Now, this thing here, the uh, the gray magic storage um, block, this is new, actually. It's the storage configuration interface. Cross-mod accessibility with a magic storage system. Displays a list of toggable environment modules added by other mods or nothing if no modules are present. Available modules. Use player inventory items. You can use non-favorited player inventory items. Which means that I can actually craft with things that are in my inventory as well as in the magic storage system, which is awesome. So I think I might have to redo the permissions. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. And what do we have in here still? Why is that still in here, though? Probably just forgot to put it away, actually. So, Bambi, here we go. Not like, you know, does a whole lot for right now because, uh, got a music box playing. All right, uh, let's go ahead and put you away. And I guess we should probably go fight the uh, Aquatic Scourge on camera now. Probably be a good idea. Grab some more fish bait while we're here, and... Alright, oh, and I managed to get myself an Unholy Trident as well, which is just a lot of fun. Got that actually in the middle of the uh, Wall of Flesh fight. Alright, so back over at the Sulphur Sea. Let's go ahead and buff up. Let's grab our minions out. Just because it might help a little bit. Oh, and he's awake. Okay, there we go. In <laughs> 2,000 DPS so far. Not bad. Yeah, CC ring. Oh, there we go. Is a uh, amazing weapon, <laughs> especially on uh, worm style, you know, style enemies. Because well, it pierces. So. I flew right into that, didn't I? I am gonna die. Die to Venom. Dang it. Alright, so we uh, try this again now. Here we go. And nope. Oh, right through the, right through the spikes. All right. Yeah, 
And right into that cloud. Okay. Ow. Dang it. Oh, okay. That's my face. Ow. Okay. Yeah. The clouds are, uh... Yeah. <laughs> the clouds are horrible. And... There it goes. Now he's dead. Wow. There's it is. Okay, cool. And... Now, normally after you kill him for this time, it, uh... Wow. That was a lag spike, wasn't it? Uh, but normally when you kill him for the uh, first time, it brings up a, uh... Sulfuric rain event thing. Acid rain. Hey, more hatchlings. Hey, they got the bug fix too. Cool. Haven't really noticed it. Uh, what do we get? We got another sea searing. Okay, cool. It's like a 10% chance, and I've gotten two of them now out of, I think, three, four kills. Look at that. Uh, corrosive spine. Okay. At least a ton of clouds everywhere on hit. All rogue weapons inflict venom and spawn clouds on enemy heads. Hmm. I did get a new rogue weapon from the uh, the acid rain. Skyfin bomber. It drops off little uh, radioactive clouds. So, I, it's not bad. It's just uh, the rate of fire is kind of slow. And apparently, if you fire to the top of enemies, it'll uh, turn around and try to come back after him, which is a lot of fun, really. I mean, homing weapons, right? You can't... What the hell? Just got launched. Uh, but, uh, yeah, a little bit of homing is nice, but it... I haven't really noticed a whole lot with the homing that makes it useful, though. And I got the uh, Orthocera shelf, which is a sentry. Yep, boom, there we go again. That's kind of funny. It's a geyser, I'm guessing, doing that. Wow. Got some gator air on that one. Boing. Alright. And I guess I could do, like, an acid rain. I think I've got the summoner in here. Uh, I've got a torrential tier. I don't have the thing though. Hmm. The uh, acid rain summoner. Well, what I could do is, you know what? Here, let's go ahead and bed. Night. Okay, now it's morning. Okay, cool. Because I want to get some of the stuff put away here. And it's going to take me a second. So, Another relic. Uh, we got downpour. Or the spray water that drips, uh, trails water. It's not bad. Yeah, more great potions. Cool. Uh, we've got the aquatic emblem. Most ocean enemies become friendly and provides water breathing. Uh, defense over time, but also slows movement speed. Oh, okay, cool. Maximum defense boost is, is 50, though. And maximum movement speed reduction is 10%. That's not bad. I've got one here in my uh, vanity slots just to uh, basically, you know, keep around. You know, we'll go ahead and say that too, I guess. And now, do I craft it or do I buy this uh, thing? I think I craft it, apparently. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to buy a bunch of these, because why not? I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, fight Duke Fishron anytime soon, but... It'd be nice having those. Come on, there we go. 
Uh, is it a tier? Yeah. Caustic tier. Oh, it only takes uh, five self -defeat scales. That's not bad. There we go. Now, the things to watch out for in this event are, well, you get slimes that'll try to drop on your head. Ow. You get explodey frogs. And uh, the skypin bombers are actually probably the worst. There's these stupid flying fish that move incredibly fast. Oh! And there's the uh, the Kragmaw Meyer. <laughs> Ow, jerk. This is like the boss of the event, really. In the same way that like the uh the Flying Dutchman's the boss of the pirates. Oh Oh, stupid homing shots out of nowhere. Hey, wow. Got a lot of stuff there. Dang. I think it was all of his drops at once there. That's cool. And there's another one already. Look at that. Ow, jerk. Ow, dang it. Stop shooting me. I don't like it. Ow. Dang it. There, I like it when he does the, the shot to the heavens thing. Because, uh, I can actually get damage in on him. Other than that, he usually just, like, falls straight past and drops shots at me. Like that, right there. Aye! Yes, thank you. I'll, I'll take a candied apple. You know, I have not seen any Skypin bombers this time around. Stop it with the, like the the teleporty thing. Just like hold still for a second, would you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was holding still right there, and out of range. Oh no. There we go. Now he's dead. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I don't really need to do this event, though, so we're just going to leave. There we go. And, let's see, corroded fossils. This is the new, uh, new hotness, I guess we can call it, right? Nuclear fumes. Cool. But, uh, yeah, this is the new material that come, drops from the Tier 2 uh, acid rain. There's Miasma, the Bone Breaker, Sick Rain Barrel, Music Box, and the Corroded Costabo. Extremely slow speed and saying knockback. Yeah, maybe. I'll probably pass on that though. Uh, we got Sulfur Grabber. Oh, that's right. That's the yo yo. Okay. Spent Fuel Container. 
The war never changes. So is a fuel container with trace amounts of plutonium that caused a nuclear explosion. Does not occur if there's no tiles below it. Oh, that's kind of cool. I might actually switch out the Skyfen bomber for this. <laughs> Kragma spine hook, okay. Uh, let's see. Nuclear fumes, go ahead and make the divine fly. Provides a large amount of light in the abyss, okay, cool. Let's remember. Uh, the Sea King's coin. Some blessed with pest power. Some as both the aquatic and desert pests. Okay. And the Orthocera Jacuzzi. Can't be placed. Grab. Hmm. So I need 50 nuclear fumes for that, though. Two Orthocera banners. And the stuck Orthocera. Uh, we got another fuel container, nuclear rod. Plus one max minion. Grants immunity, immunity to irradiated. Minions release and radiated aura, aura on enemy hits. Okay. Acid lamp, pet, another soul prescriber. Okay, cool. All right, let's get this stuff uh, taken care of here. All right, yep, everything put away like it should be. And finally got the Queen Slime trophy. Uh, I'll have to look up, see how many relics I've got of hers. Uh, so yeah, ninth kill. Okay. And I can put that thing, that thing away finally. Okay, cool. Souls light. I like that. And all that stuff can get sold. So. Here we go. And... Thank you, Ladybug. You're awesome. Okay. Um, can't remember if I showed it off on camera or not, but uh, I do have an auto fisher set up finally. Right over here. And it's currently empty because, well, it's out of fish bait. There we go. Ow, jerk. Hmm. Yeah, right here's fine. Okay. There we go. Auto fisher itself goes right here. Now I just need to put some sort of bait in here. Like, you know, maybe if I can work. Yeah, look, we got a princess fish, though. All right, cool. All right, uh, I think I have some bait in here as well, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool, we got a flounder too. Sweet. There you go. Uh, I want to get pearls. So I can get luck potions, because that will make farming quite a bit easier. So. Dude, the wizard rocks. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and crack this open. All right, cool. Got some more bait. So that can go in there as well. And... Hmm. Oh, got an anchor. Hooray. Another Phosphor Stone. All right. Don't really need it, though. All right. So, progression-wise, uh, Cryogen should be my next target, right? Cryogen or Brimstone and Brimstone. I have not had an Eclipse yet, though. Okay, yeah, I want as soon as any mechanical boss has been defeated, and it's been like 10 or so in game days since I, uh, I took out the twins, so. Probably more than that, actually. All 
All right. Well, uh, cryo key, I think is what it's called, right? Yep, cryo key. There we go. Hmm. I really don't have a whole lot of essences, do I? Come here, buddy. There we go. And the bird. All right, cool. Let's see. Enrages outside the tundra. Okay, yeah, I figured. I completely missed a sky island. Go away, slime. Uh, this one's actually right above here. I mean, I saw part of it on the map, uh, but like I didn't even loot the chest. Huh. Go figure, right? Yeah, the uh, the opponent hammer is great. Uh, it's not so good against bosses, but uh, you got three hundred and eighty-two melee damage. It tends to uh, destroy most things on impact. All right, well, let's go ahead and head over to here to our wonderful astral biome, and go ahead and buff. There we go. And Ah, dang it. I hate that. You can dodge through attacks and you can still get the debuff from it. Ow. Okay, that was uh kind of stingy. That that hurt a bit, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, nope. Oh, that was close. Okay. Oh, yep. There we go. Ah, warm potions probably would have been a good idea, right? Couldn't put the fire out. Hmm. Yeah, I got frost burned to death. All right, so one thing I just remembered as well is we can actually make the blood orange now. Max life increased by 25. Hooray, right? Schmack. I love that thing, though. Yeah, the hammer. So good. All right, so let's come up here and get our station buffs anyway. Go ahead and buff now anyway. And yeah, I think that's about as much prep works I can do now. Tallulah, get the hell out of here. No, oh, dang it. There. I can stand it right in front of the pylon. Dupus. Alright. Um tell you what, let's get you down here and then we'll do like that. So I have a warmth potion, but uh, it doesn't do jack against uh, Frostburn, so. I dang it. Oh yeah, that hurt. Come on, ow. Ah! It is actually really hard to see these stupid shots in this background. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, right, okay. Let's, uh, not hang out <laughs> underground. 
Oh, you. Okay, yeah, that that was on me. Ow, oh, dang it. <laughs> Heal and fly into a shot. Yeah, great. I see him. Oh, dang it. Dodging the shots and completely missed the fact that uh, he was hanging out right underneath me there. That was pretty much a waste of adrenaline, wasn't it? Oh well. At least I managed to pop it off and then uh, didn't get hit first, so. Ow. Oh, now he's doing his little teleporty thing? Great. So much fun. Just annoying. Whoop. Oh, well, look at that. Freaking audio broke again. Huh. Well, that just got eerie all of a sudden. Oh. Well, let's see. How entertaining can this be without sound? All right. Um, I'll have to figure out. It might be the Terraria Ambience mod. Oop. There we go. Got hit. It's doing it. But it's only ever happened when I'm using the Cease hearing, so I'm really kind of curious. This might be, you know, something that just doesn't agree or something. I don't know. And okay, we'll go ahead and heal up anyway. And I'm frostburned yet again. Okay, this guy is uh, he's dying, but not quick enough. And nope, do not like this at all. Ah. <sighs> uh. Like, how much health does this jerk have, anyway? Way too much, right? I think we can agree that, you know, especially something that is, you know, 
meant to be done pre-mechanicals. You can get access to uh, Daedalus armor and whatnot. Yeah, he's uh, he's a little on the tanky side. But he is almost dead, so. Oh, my traveling merchant just left. I'm almost dead, too. No, 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 no. He died. <laughs> right. And the music came back, <laughs> but uh, but not sound, right? No in-game audio. Hey, and we have permafrost with 20,000 health. The revealed I found interesting why you guys are opposite providing corpses of people. We can form far more elegant serpents of ice. All right, so new curse flames. All right, cool. Got a frozen key. Nice. Uh, let's see, we go with the frostbite blaster, icicle trident, the ice star, arctic bear paw, cryogenic staff. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Uh, we got the frosty flare. Okay, generates a localized hailstorm. Cool. Do not insert in flare gun. And the cryophobia. Fires an ice wave that splits multiple times and explodes into shards. Hmm. Frost Flake Brick. We've got Delicious Meat. Which is a medium for half an hour. Okay. Yeah, it's like frozen bacon pretty much. Uh, we got Super Mana Potions. Nice. And Permafrost Concoction. Increases max mana by 50. Reduces mana cost by 15%. Increases life regen as life decreases. Increases life regen when reflected with Poison on Fire or Brimstone Flames. You will survive fatal damage and revive a 30% life on a 3-minute cooldown. You are encased in an ice barrier for 3 seconds when revived. Eh, yeah. It's not bad, but yeah, I don't know. The... Oh, I'm being shot at by a freaking probe. Oh, okay. It's like, what the hell, you know? I keep taking, like, this one point of damage every once in a while, and it's like... Mmm, bacon. Yeah, it's really weird not having any, uh, any game sounds. But hey, killed an atlas. All right, here's hoping it didn't screw up all my audio this time, though. Again. And I should probably crack the bag open, right? Okay, we got the Fluvium Bow. Essence of Elium, awesome. Got the Avalanche. We got the Demonic Icebreaker. Solar Cryogen, which is a really good first set of wings, but yeah. And we got the Cryogen... Okay, uh, lore item. Sixty-one, seventy-five. Okay, this one does fire quite a bit quicker. Summons an animated ice construct to protect you. Which is really good, actually. I really do like that one. It creates bullet health for bosses, and it is part of the endogenesis. Okay. Uh, your material. You are though the effluvium. Kelvin Catalyst. Okay, I need 100 Ice Stars, 10 Essence of Elium, Snowstorm, Icebreaker, the Effluvium, and the Avalanche. Okay, I get the Snowstorm, the Avalanche. I got the Effluvium here, right? Is it the Icebreaker? Hmm. Required Objects, Ice Machine. So, where did Cryogen end up? He's up there, okay. All right, so the Kelvin Catalyst has been made a lot cheaper now from the looks of things. Um, I don't think I'm going to need to worry about that, really. I do want to check out what the Frostbite Blaster is used for. And I did buy a Cryophobia. And, yeah, unfortunately it doesn't go through blocks, so can't show it off here. Uh, let's see, though. Kelvin Catalyst, I mean, look at that. 
We got mighty on it too, huh? That's cool. All right, so, well, didn't use that very long, did we? Kelvin Catalyst is one of those weapons where, you know, it's, yeah, once you get it, you have to use it, <laughs> you know, or get access to it. It's just that good. Uh, part of the Shredder, okay. The myth, the legend, the weapon that causes more, that drops more frames than any other. Fires a barrage of energy bolts that split and bounce. Right click to fire a barrage of normal bullets. Does extra damage to enemy shot at point blank range. Alright, so yeah, the cryophobia. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a fun little weapon there, isn't it? Not really geared up for mage, but we actually have access now to the uh, cryonic bars. Which means I need to get in here and uh, do some mining. That means we'll actually have access to the Daedalus armor, which is probably one of the better armors I can get right now. And there's a few other things that we'll have access to, but uh, a lot of it, a lot of the usefulness from the cryonic bars is uh, a little later on where you start making things like bars of life and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, we're going to use the cryophobia. Wait, how much damage is that? 151. A little on the slow side, but... Yeah, I think it's worth it. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.